Hello. Good night. How are you girls? I am here working late. And I'm going to work on my card, index card, our daily. And the first thing I am going to do is I am going to add some watercolors. I'm going to clean my my brush and I am going to add some watercolors. I'm using Burn Santa and I'm using my Pelican watercolors. I think I have these one from since I was a student that I took art classes. I think I have those since over 20 years. But it is part of it. So now I'm going to dry. You see how the paper kind of curve up? You turn it around. It's dry. It's dry. So, like I say, I'm going to put another color of watercolor here. Because I want to do this. It's kind of a steampunk kind of look. So I'm going to use this it's not, it's in like an aqua color. And I am going to try to mix the three colors. No, it's more pronounced in certain areas, but I don't know. I don't mind. Okay. Now I'm going to add some gesso. Trying to mute the colors. Trying to dry it, put the yes just so as not too wet. Because if you do it too wet, then it will. And I'm using a magazine to protect my. Okay, there we go. Now I'm getting my just so we want it. Make sure the page is all okay. Wash a brush. Okay, I'm gonna be using the these stamps. These are Tim Holtz, um, the Prince ones. I have the big and the small one. 
and I'm going to be using those. And I stamped it in this pieces of paper. But this little bag here was sent by my pen pal Robin Moore. Where I am going to cut a piece of paper. Just worn a piece of paper. on my card and I think I it's too big so gel, the medium gel, and I'm going to put some on the bag. And this is my uh, index card. Um, Art daily. I was hoping to do one every day, but I have so many things. Now I was forced into a, sh a challenge that um, about showing your three pieces, like poet spies. Thank you, girl. I bend. Also doing some swaps in my junk journals group. So it's been kind of like a, I'm doing 20 things at once and I'm used not to, I haven't crafted in a while, so. Dry. It's dry. So I I stamped these two clocks here in cardstock and paper. And then what I did, I torn the edges and I'm going to use my Distress Marker Black Sooth. And I'm going to use the this tip marker. And I'm going to... Go through the edges just to give them a and the same thing with this one. going to put this one here and this one is going to be here like this. Hmm. I haven't decided yet but maybe like that. So I'm going to put gel medium.
other one. I think I'm going to warm this edge here. And this edge. I'm going to do it a little smaller. So it will fit in there. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And I forgot to Okay, got it. And I'm gonna kinda put this here in the corner. Now it's time to get some gel over them. So they will stay stick there. I like this. you think it's not going to I'm gonna dry that put some glue here. I'm using this glue to glue this little ribbon. So it's sufficient. And this has a little here. Okay, no it wasn't. And we're going to put this here. Back there. Okay, I have a flower. I will go there. And that one I will use glue to. Embellishments I want to add. You can be in the middle of the block if you want. There. I have a tiny one for you, a little one. And one more because I don't like even numbers. Why can't I put that there? Let's just put it there. Okay. So all I have to do is trim. Here. 
how I can use the pet marker. I'm hoping this One more thing, and it is this star there. Mm, not forgetting anything. Mm. No. Okay, so here is my second index card art daily. Sorry, that I did. It's cold time, and I hope you enjoy it. It's pretty easy to do. I can still add some more of that to the edges to make it a little more grungy. There we go, I think that's better. Like I said. Okay. So, there you go. Time. Another one done. I hope you like it. If you have any question, leave, leave any comments and I will try to answer and all the materials and descriptions of what I use in this tag, it will be in the description box.